This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. SOLIDWORKS is free for FIRST teams. Over 80% of US engineering schools and 370,000 plus companies use SOLIDWORKS to design great products. SOLIDWORKS can help you design a great robot on desktop or on the cloud. Go to SOLIDWORKS.com FIRST to register your team. FRC Premiere Night is back on Saturday, February 25th. Submit a unique video showcasing your team's charged up robot progress by Thursday, February 23rd at First Updates Now slash Premiere 23. Premiere Night is a great way to engage with the community. Get more information and submit your video at firstupdatesnow.com slash Premiere 23. And welcome back to the Open Alliance Show. We're with team number 3544 coming out of Canada. Our first team from Canada coming on. Welcome, guys. Uh, excited to have you on and uh, talking more about your team and uh, from Quebec as well, too. So I can't wait. Uh, Festival de Robotique has been a regional I've always wanted to go to. And I'm not going this year, but I can't wait uh, to, to check it out one year. So thank you so much for being on. Uh, why don't you guys introduce yourselves and uh, listen to what you do on the team? Hi, I'm Matthias. I'm the design lead. Hi, my name is Hussein. I'm 15 and I'm the communications lead. Uh, hi, my name is Charles and I'm the programming lead. Uh, my name is Fred and I'm the mechanical lead. And uh, lots to go through for uh, 3544 here today. We're going to be talking about uh, some project management, uh, the strategy going into the season uh, as well too, uh, CAD and some prototypes as well. So uh, I know we got a screen share. We'll bring that up. But what do you guys want to start us out with? We'll just hop right in. Uh uh, well, I think we can start out with communication. So basically, uh, uh, very similar. yeah, uh, all right, yeah, this works. Um, basically, we've been working on a lot of projects recently. We've been working on uh, this spreadsheet organization. Um, but yeah, so we've been making schedules uh, for every department, basically, in our team. So. I can't see Yeah, basically, uh, as you can see, this is our Fab Master, which uh, basically, if you don't know what a Fab Master is, it's a document with all the. Huh? The how do I zoom in on? The, oh, so there we go. Um, all right, yeah. Uh, it's basically just a document with all of the on shape links links that we use for the CAD. And then we have a checklist here with uh, every team member that does certain parts and imports them into the cat for the robot. Yeah, so uh, the point of this is to really organize uh, our entire team and uh, really make sure that we don't repeat a part, that we don't fabricate a part uh, two times, or just to make sure that uh, every part is as good as it can be. Uh, we also have columns for uh, the drawings so we, we're, what we're going to do is uh, print every single drawing of every part and put it, put it in a binder. So we're going to have, it's going to be like uh, something really great physical that we can look through to uh, see what we've done and what we've, uh, what we're, what we've completed. Yeah. Yeah. We also have like a uh, building schedule, which I cannot. Yeah. Second, second cat, how do I second Excel? Oh, there's another one. All right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. We have this construction uh, tab. Agenda. Yeah, agenda. Same thing. Uh, basically, this just shows everything that we'll have to do throughout week to week. Uh, right now, we're on the third week of constructing this agenda, and we'll keep updating this throughout the season. We also have a marketing schedule, which do we have? No, hold on. But we 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 also have a, a marketing schedule, so we know exactly what we have to do for, mm. for that. So yeah, uh, so that that brings us to uh mm -hmm. to the, our strategy. Yes, of course. We have a chief Delphi uh, uh talking about like everything uh, we plan on having this year. Our big season objective this year is. Uh, uh, getting ten top ten in qualification uh, on a, at a regional, at a regional, and uh, in our robot operation uh, priority list, our last things are picking up tips cones and put them and putting them on the high nodes because this is uh, way too hard to like accomplish on uh, on the schedule we want to have so we can have a lot of practice and uh, 
get our cycle time down so we can move so at the end it is more beneficial for us to just aim for the middle one and get the the most points out of it because we have a short uh, cycle uh, time cycle yeah and uh, so we've also decided to not go for the high nodes uh, for the high nodes uh, this year because uh, last year it was kind of a hard season so we've really decided to uh, settle down and do something a bit simpler this year uh, simply because of course uh, we really want to make sure that we're a good um, we're a good like simple we're a robot instead of doing something too complicated and uh, and uh, yeah. Greg, I want to ask you uh, and bring you in on this. When we're yeah. when we're looking at teams that are uh, doing these types of strategies for it, is that a viable thing in your mind? Can can teams go for a low and middle and still be very successful this year? I, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I course. actually think that. Uh, um, I, I mean, I, I think that it's totally a valid strategy, and I think that sometimes it's going to be better, right? Because, you, like I think you said, you're going to be able to build a simpler robot, which means you're going to be able to get more driver practice and get more stuff. There's tons of scoring objectives there and i think we're going to see a lot of teams overreach for the high goals and maybe have really awkward arms and things where they might be doing more cycles on the mid and it doesn't take but one or two extra cycles on the mid or low to make up for the point differential and let's face it when you're on an alliance you don't need all three robots scoring high on the alliance so um, i totally yeah, I support totally you. you know staying That's simple cool. and also like really building within your team's needs so that's a a big thing we, we learned from our mistake last year that uh, aiming for everything is a bad idea because last year we aim for everything and when one mechanism uh, failed we had it was basically scrapped for the whole time because we didn't have any time left to spare the the mechan the when we finished it the day after it was the competition so yeah we were pretty screwed with that, so we we tried to make a simpler robot this year. Yeah. Um, so now we're ready to talk about the, the CAD. Yeah. Uh, so uh, what we've done right now is uh, pretty much the entire um, our entire uh, um, drive train is done. Uh, so you might notice that we're not using like a lot of teams. We're not using a swerve drive train, and that is because um, we haven't really have have had time to uh, to uh, build a swerve drive train in off season and we really don't want to run the risk of um, of building of building a, a swerve drive train during uh, the build season so that's a risk we just don't want to take uh, you might also notice that we have a, a, a turret mounted arm uh, so that's why we kind of want to compensate for the, our lack of swerve uh, by having a turret so it really extends our reach it allows us to kind of fine tune the the, the game object position uh, without necessarily having to move the, the drive base entirely uh, to to yeah uh, move uh, move game pieces, uh, you might also notice that we we've got kind of like a, a double staged arm. Uh, so a lot of I, I saw a lot of teams do prototypes for that, but we're gonna try to do it uh, for real. Uh, so what what we've done uh, so far is basically we have a, a we have a dead axle over here. We're going to uh, to uh, to uh, have the the arm uh, move like that. So uh, yeah, you can see that we have a double staged arm, and uh, it also allows it to have greater reach while also staying inside the robot frame uh, for much for for uh, and having a low yeah. central uh, central gravity. Point. Yeah. So you can see we also didn't want it to we we also didn't want it to uh, to tip whenever we're not actively using the arm uh, so what we've done is uh, we made it so that the arm can easily be lowered down uh, and in kind of like a neutral position so uh, that way uh, we can still get a low center of gravity uh, while uh, still having a great reach uh, so yeah so uh, now we're gonna pass uh, to uh, the prototyping that we did uh, up to this point because as you can see on the CAD we don't have a a design for a claw or anything to pick up object with. So, because we don't want to like put something in concrete right now, because we know we're gonna have to like change it. So no, it's not worth like trying to make something perfect the first time. Let's just do a lot of prototypes until something works out. That's what uh, she's gonna So um, this is our uh, first prototype. It's actually pretty janky uh, because <laughs> we're, 
we use uh, like um, yeah. extrusion and spare parts. We, yes, and spare parts. And we realize it's like not a good way to uh, prototype because it, it takes a lot of materials and uh, of time to uh, to make stuff like stuff uh, like that. So um, with that, we um, we checked the, the the grip of wheels and we uh, saw that the blue uh, compliant wheels um, were a bit better at gripping than the gray ones. Uh, the blue ones have a 50, uh, well, 50, uh, 58 50, gerometer, oh, yeah. yeah. Um, and the other ones are the uh, 45, uh, eight, yeah, yeah. 45 eight gerometer. So uh, really the point of this prototype was really to just find the wheel. Find, find, like, find what the best uh, wheels to use were. Uh, we didn't make it fancy or anything because what's the point? <laughs> uh, yeah. So uh, that's why we decided to use uh, just do something simple and quick. Um, after that, we uh, decided to uh, use uh, our CNC and um, some MDF uh, to make prototypes because uh, we don't have a laser cutter uh, or anything like that. So uh, yeah. So uh, this one, we uh, we tried uh, it and it did, doesn't really work with the cones, but uh, with the cubes, it works fairly well because it's uh, a bit too large. Uh, um, we would demonstrate, but our cube are like oh no gone. <laughs> it, it, yeah, it broke during proto through prototyping. So uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, we just want to tell teams that uh, they really gotta be uh, <laughs> very careful around their cubes. It's one of the course of the game. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So uh, we just want to tell tell everyone to be very careful about. Uh, around the game pieces, you really don't want to have any like loose uh, bolts and bolt ends or any sharp edges because they're really, really fragile. You don't want to break them. Um, so this is the last prototype that we uh, we did. So it's um, it's pretty similar to the last one, but we added um, surgical tubing uh, like a, as a spring. So um, with, uh, with that, we can grab the, the, the comb pretty well. Um, but what and the cube? Well, we couldn't really test because it broke. But um, yeah. So what we realized with uh, this prototype is that um, well, we need a a better way to uh, attach the, the the tubing because right right now it's like really uh, slack and uh, it uh, it doesn't put enough uh, pressure on game pieces. Yeah. But we also realized at the same time that you really, really need uh, a consistent force on the on the uh, on on the game pieces in order to have a, uh, a, a like a consistent grip. Uh, so that's all of our prototype. Yeah. yeah. Well, guys, we we only have a little bit more time, but I, I want to check in with you and see uh, what are kind of like the immediate next steps that your team wants to get done uh, in the next week or so. And of course, we'll be checking in with you uh, in just three short weeks. <laughs> What we're hoping to do uh, in the few next weeks is finish our uh, drafting uh, CAD so we can start building it while we continue prototyping on a, on a design for a claw. Because uh, right now, we could we have a almost done uh, drafting. We can send some parts already to, to be cut because we don't have a, a water jet uh, here. So that's a, yeah, yeah. Just a big part. So, uh, we so yeah as you said we want to start building everything uh we also really want to continue focusing on the manipulator because in my opinion it's really the most important uh subsystem you, you need to have in in this year's game uh i think everything except the manipulator is really going to be uh quite simple it's really good you really need to focus on the manipulator because you you want to have a good grip you want to have uh an efficient gripping mechanism you want to yeah both on uh, Cheat Delphi and their build blogs, and of course on the OA Discord as well, too. And uh, can't wait to see uh, what you come up with over the next uh, couple of weeks. Good luck, guys. Yeah, good luck. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for having us tonight. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. SolidWorks is free for first teams. Over 80% of U.S. engineering schools and 370,000 plus companies use SolidWorks to design great products. SolidWorks can help you design a great robot on desktop or on the cloud. Go to SolidWorks.com slash first to register your team.
FRC Premier Night is back on Saturday, February 25th. Submit a unique video showcasing your team's charged up robot progress by Thursday, February 23rd at First Updates Now slash Premier 23. Premier Night is a great way to engage with the community. Get more information and submit your video at firstupdatesnow.com slash Premier 23. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gd forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.